So I think it's time that I address certain comments and remarks, questions, whatever, that I have been getting in some videos, mainly my kind of last video that took off, and so I'm getting a lot of comments. I'm trying to reply, but I can't reply to all of them, so I thought it was I would make this video. I feel like it's also going to be a good video that I can refer people to in the future, so let's go. My channel has never been about weight loss, intentional weight loss. It has never been like that. It will never be like that. That is not to say that I will never make more videos about how to lose weight in a way that is healthy. And I've decided to kind of explain my reasoning behind all of this, answer some questions, hopefully. First thing I want to start off by saying is that I try to put a disclaimer in like all of my weight loss videos where I say that weight loss should never be the goal it should only be a consequence of doing healthy things and that i never want to encourage people to be thin over anything else people should be encouraged to be healthy you know and if you happen to be thin while being healthy great and i also really tell people to stay away from harsh diets or detoxes or all of that and i try to say this in every video but i can understand that sometimes maybe i don't say it enough because i feel like i'm just constantly saying it and i forget sometimes that people don't watch like every single video of mine so i know that maybe my last video on how to be naturally thin was the first one you saw of me and then probably you thought that i was pushing thinness on people because my disclaimer wasn't clear enough and i can understand that so it's, it's always like this balance between trying to say like the disclaimer at the beginning and then giving information to people who are searching for that information. Also, my YouTube analytics, I see that whenever I put too much fluff in the beginning. So like disclaimers, people will click out, click out the video. Um, so it's just trying to balance all of that can be a little bit tricky, but let me know if you would like me to make more like maybe like longer more elaborate disclaimers maybe i can even make them like you do a little bit and then talk about it more at the end i don't know if there's a way that i can do things where people would feel more comfortable i'm always open to discussion i really also want to take this opportunity to reiterate that weight loss is never something i push on my channel ever and i've i gotten comments of people telling me like oh weight loss isn't about discipline or willpower i never said it was literally never you cannot find a clip of me saying that you need discipline or willpower to lose weight because that is not what i stand for at all and i feel like my content in general really stands for that but i do understand that if you are picking maybe like one video out of all of them you are not getting like the entire context context and so i can understand how that may seem but again i do want to emphasize i am not for intentional weight loss i am for building healthier eating habits and building a healthier relationship with food where you are not obsessed with food where you are not restricting food constantly where you are not having off-limit foods that you can't even keep in your house or else you're going to binge on them like those are the things that i am that i talk about the most and that i really try to like push on people the most and if you end up losing weight from that that that's fine. That being said, my goal is still to appeal to as many people as possible for a few reasons. Number one reason is that I am really trying to target people who are searching for these kinds of things and I don't want them to search like how to be thin and then to fall on a video that's going to tell them that they should starve themselves or do like intermittent fasting or go on a detox cleanse or whatever. I would rather they go on my video and they learn a healthier approach to doing things that's kind of my reasoning with that whenever i make videos about having a healthy relationship with food the only people that click on them are people who are already actively trying to do that and that's great and i will continue to make videos for those people but also i want to try to convert more people into the healthier this healthier approach of doing things so that's really why i am kind of having spinning this angle on the subjects but 
the content of my videos is always the same. Like I'm never going to tell you that you should be counting calories and tracking calories and having like teeny portions and going hungry. Like I will never say that. So yeah, sometimes I make titles that are a little bit clickbaity because that's what people would be searching for. And there's also this aspect that I have to please the algorithm because this is my job. And if I am not getting views and I am not getting clients and then I am not getting you know people buying my services and then I'm not getting paid for by YouTube so I then I don't have money and then I need to stop this and I'm not kidding I have thought about stopping this many times many times because I work a lot and I don't get paid a lot I know I don't talk about this a lot and I'm really fortunate that I have like my family behind me. Maybe you're imagining that I get a ton of money from YouTube. I don't. This is a business that I'm also trying to keep afloat because I also know that I am helping people with the things that I am doing. And honestly, the people commenting that I have like changed their relationship with food and like healed the way that they think about food and like literally changed their lives. So many people have told me that and those are the people for whom I continue to make these videos. I literally think like, I cannot, I can't leave them. Like I can't like stop posting videos. I can't like stop, you know, I can't, I can't stop. I have to keep on going for these people. And I know that like majority, like overwhelmingly my comments are positive and people are telling me that they are like enjoying the message I'm spreading. I would say like 99%, but it's always that 1% of people who are criticizing that you, you know, that stick with you. And especially when you work a lot and you don't get a lot of return on that, it really hurts to kind of like have to have to deal with that. And also, I, I'm not saying I don't understand what certain people are saying. This is also why I'm making this video, but hopefully it will clear some things out. But maybe other people will think, why are you even addressing this? There's like three people who are saying that still it matters it matters to me i feel like the thing about my content is that it is very kind of like middle ground kind of like balanced which is what i stand for and i think again at the end of the day that's the most important thing i am aligned with my content i've never talked about anything that i don't 100 percent believe in i've gotten so many requests for partnerships to like track calories for devices that track calories or like weight loss pills or even supplements that i don't 100% believe in and I have declined them even if they meant money or people trying to help me in my business telling me that I needed to make videos that were more enticing like lose x amount of pounds and x amount of days or go on this like sugar detox and then transform your life I will never like I've always said no to that and I will always say no to that but yes sometimes I tweak my titles a little bit and I tweak the way in which I deliver my content a little bit to try to appeal to a little bit more but again my message stays the same and again what I was trying to say is like the balance of things I feel like it's hard for me to get people that will hate me 100% or that will love me 100% because usually in the nutrition realm you will find either kind of people who are really pushing like intuitive eating and health at every size and like you know not really thinking about eating in a way that is balanced with like macronutrients that's really not the focus or on the other hand it's going to be more about you know dieting and tracking calories and doing all of that and i lean more on the intu intuitive side of things of course i think it's super harmful to be going on detox diets and diets in general um however there are some things from this realm that i believe in and i think it is good for us to have the tools to understand what we are eating and to understand the impact that what we eat can have on our bodies and to be mindful of that and i think it's also harmful to tell people that being obese is completely genetic and that there's nothing that they can do about it because that's not true yes genetics play a part of course in your weight and the habits that you had when you were younger play a part in your weight as well but that doesn't mean that you are doomed if you are overweight and it, if you eat in a way that is unhealthy that's not at all like something that you can't have any impact on whatsoever that's again my main message when i make these videos I'm not saying that it's your fault, of course, that you're overweight, of course not. I'm just saying that if that's something that you want to change, and then more importantly, if you want to build healthier eating habits, you can do that. And the thing is, I know that people tell me, yeah, you should just talk about 
how to build healthy eating habits instead of like how to lose weight but again i'm trying to appeal to people like t telling somebody oh i'm gonna help you build healthier eating habits it's not something that's going to appeal to a lot of people they just see like all the work they have to put in but if you tell this person you know if you want to lose weight here's the way to do it you're going to implement healthy eating habits you're going to implement a healthy relationship with food you're going to learn to eat the things that you crave and stop having like restrictions and food was on all of that and that will it might in most cases lead to weight loss then you know that that will work that will be more enticing to them so it's also my job as a nutritionist to phrase things in a way that will get people you know motivated i never lie like i've never told any of my clients if you do this you will lose weight of course not um but it is true that if you eat in a certain way if you create a healthy relationship with food and if you do all the things i talk about in my videos you have more chances of reaching your set point weight which has chances of being lower than the weight you're currently at if you are currently like you know very overweight not saying it's always a hundred percent that's not the case everybody is different but in the end what i see from most of my clients is even if they don't end up losing that weight they are still so happy because they have built the healthy eating habits and if i had just told them you're going to build healthy eating habits and that's it it wouldn't have gotten them like interested in the first place and also before i end this video i wanted to address the french people thing as well like i make a lot of videos on the french way of eating and i do get comments of french people mainly telling me that that's not true that's not the way we eat same i try to make disclaimers saying that i'm not talking about all french people or all people from the u.s of course the u.s specifically is a huge country not everybody eats like that france has like disparities in the way that people eat of course not but it's just if we're looking at general things that's kind of like what i'm trying to do looking at the general eating habits of french people versus people from the u.s those are the things that stand out and having lived in both countries and in different places within both countries and having had like multiple friends and or family members i know like i know that what i'm saying is true not saying it's every single person but i know that that's the way that things are done in general and i know that it's something that can be helpful for american people to kind of see a different way of doing things also it's important to note that the french way of doing things is changing like it is changing it was the tr more traditional way of doing things like past generations now it's shifting a little bit of course but that doesn't mean that that's good like i think we should still be implementing the french way of eating you know and keeping that and, and passing that down um, again so that's why i'm doing that I also, like I said earlier, have to work with the algorithm, which is essentially the algorithm is just like what people want to see. You know, it's not just like this, this big machine thing that we don't understand. If the algorithm pushes out certain videos, it means that that's the videos that most people want to see that you want to see. And so again, I'm seeing that pe the videos where I talk about French eating habits are reaching wider audiences and performing well and, and videos where I mention weight loss, again, are reaching wider audiences. Honestly, what I say in these videos is always pretty much the same thing i just say it in different ways i try to capture like different people's attention i just try to cover it from every possible angle but it doesn't change it really doesn't change um and i think that's really the main thing that i the main point i wanted to get across today i have not changed in a, like the way that i see things i am not all of a sudden for weight loss i'm not all of a sudden like thinking that people control their weight 100 percent and fat people need to lose weight that's i haven't changed <clears throat> maybe my messaging is trying to shift a little bit but don't worry i will still be making videos on like creating a healthier relationship with food and like healthy eating and all of that without mentioning weight i will still be doing that however i will still sometimes also make videos where i talk about the same things but just i mention weight too I hope that's okay don't hesitate to let me know in the comments what types of videos you want to see a lot of the videos i make might i add are videos that you guys asked me to make so i'm also making content that i know that you want to see and i do get questions about losing weight healthily and that's why i also address them so i think i've covered everything this is actually my second time filming the video i think i went even more in depth 
this time than last time. Hopefully you enjoy this video. This is just like a little bonus video. You will still have a normal video coming at the end of the week. I hope you all have a great day and thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!